All right. All right, welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, today we are doing the second part of uh, Kenya because we got kicked out last week. So um, hopefully this will um, work for us and we can get through Kenya. Uh, if you didn't finish the first part, the first part was really easy. You should have gotten your certificate and everybody should have posted it, et cetera. Um, but then we get to be a specialist now. So um, there's, there's a, a lot to it, uh, but we're gonna do it together. Uh, so again, if you're new with us, welcome. Uh, what these certificate um, workshops are for is to learn about the different destinations, um, share with your clients all the exciting things that they can do and see in these amazing places. Also, um, uh, you get invited on FAM trips. You get, um, FAM trips are familiarization trips where you get to go and see these amazing destinations um, and experience firsthand um, these places. And then you can share with your client. Like I got invited on a FAM trip to Jamaica for free. I just paid airfare. Um, also on these trainings, you get um, a lot of amazing uh, perks and um, they send you promotions. They send you uh, material um, to your home, um, different promotions and stuff. Um, so definitely if for any reason, um, yeah, you should be able to Rashawn. Um, if not, just thumb through it really quick. Um, the first part was very, very easy. I'm actually just loading it in now, um, but it's very, um, very quick, okay? So um, get in there and do it if it doesn't allow you to get to the specialist part, okay? Uh, but yeah, you can become like a gold agent and a gold um, specialist. And then again, um, help others and have your certificates and get all kinds of promotions, okay? All right, you also get like free rooms and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you where all these other trainings are. Um, if you're not part of the incentive voucher group, make sure you join that. Here's our calendar for the rest of the month. Um, so I'll, so I'll send you this. Also, if you're not part of an accountability partner, make sure you get an accountability partner. Um, they're great to have to help you um, connect with others in your area to help you support each other, et cetera, okay? All right, so let me get back to this because I want to get you the full link of all the trainings that we do, okay? Um, they're all recorded and then they're put in here in our incentive voucher group. Um, and I think it's in our um, team at Beach Fosses and then some other ones. Uh, so it's right here. It's a spreadsheet. Here's all the different training um, programs that you guys can get into. Um, just register. You can do these all on your own also. But again, they're fun when we do it together because we help each other with the test, et cetera. These are all the ones we've done. The ones in yellow are the ones that we are doing this month. As you see, we're doing Kenya, Los Angeles, Son Sonoma County. Tuesdays are California specialists right now. Um, we did Princess where you get a free cruise. It's a nine um, part one, very, very time consuming. A kind of difficult one. So make sure you do that, but you get a, a three day to a 30 day cruise. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, is everybody here? And let's make sure um, we can get there. So uh, go to training. Cross your fingers. All right. So we're 55% of the way done. Okay. Um, are not working, one has no response. Okay, again, if your accountability partner is not working, fill it out again. I'm gonna be matching people up next week because I'm doing a training on the 16th. So yeah, keep moving, uh, fill it out again um, because we wanna make sure that you guys are all, um, you know, getting the help you need, okay? Uh, we don't want you to be left out, okay? So again, if your accountability partner is not, um, responding, then, um, then get a new one. Okay. Um, I try, that's why I try to match you up with two or three people, because I want you to, um, if somebody's busy, cause again, we all have our lives. Um, if somebody's busy and stuff, I want you to still be able to move on and get help with others. Okay. Again, it's not a training, 
a mentorship program. It's a connecting um, support program, okay? To where you guys can do like um, farmers markets together. You guys can hit you know, goals together. And the cool part about it is a lot of people are actually on um, different teams and stuff. So then you learn what they're doing, um, you know, and they share what they're, you know, you're doing vice versa. Does that make sense? <laughs> So let me take these headphones off because it looks like I'm not able to get in. Okay. All right. So let's make sure. Thank you. How do I get caught up on the training? I wasn't. All right. So again, um, if you weren't on it, um, what you're going to do is click on that link I just sent. Um, the first part was very easy. And then we got onto this. Um, so try to follow along. Also, um, as you get to the test part, just ask us questions. We will tell you the answers. Um, let's see where we're at. So must do's. Um, so as you see, this is a very long one. So we may be doing these on Sundays because again, um, we want to get our specialist program, right? Uh, okay. So we're going to click continue course again. Um, click the link above if you're just joining us and, um, just go through. There's the first one that we went through. Um, again, it was very easy. But if you can get to here, great. If not, you may have to follow along or like I said, go through it quickly and then try to um, get caught up, okay? All right, so hopefully everybody's on Southern Kenya, okay? So we're gonna click start and cross your fingers. All right, um, also I was downloading the, um, the Kenya here, um, but as you know, my computer wasn't working yesterday. Okay, there it is. So there's the one that we just loaded um, before. So you can also click on there. Also, if you're new and stuff, what happens is you'll follow along on your phone and then you'll take the test uh, with us together. So on the computer, because again, you don't wanna go through all this and then have to go through and do it again. Uh, yes, um, you create an account because each of these programs, once you sign up for these, um, different groups up here, these different programs, you won't have to sign in again. Okay. So just click on register very easy. Some of them you can just click Facebook or, or um, Google and you can automatically it'll it'll recognize you right away. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, I apologize for the lateness, but hopefully we'll get through this. So all right. Um, okay. So, um, and again, what's going to happen is I'm going to read. And then after that, um, there's some videos. Um, so if, if, uh, if I get too tired of reading, I may ask for volunteers. Okay. So uh, just again, stay plugged in you can be you know cleaning your house and listening but when it comes to the test we all got to do it together okay because we want to make sure everybody passes okay all right let's get this dear oh, where where is southern kenya at um, in where's kenya website. okay so it's the right southern here kenya. right here so you're gonna get into here and then you're going to just type Kenya in the, um, I think it's at the bottom, but you can type Kenya right here in the search bar. But here it is right here in the bottom of the thing, launch course. Okay. So all these, again, you can register. Um, and, you know, some of these we've done in Lynn Empire. And these are great because a lot of times, like I said, they give away $100 gift cards and stuff. They give away... Um, you know, the, the California one, once we finished that, one of the girls said she got a whole package in the mail and stuff. So it's kind of fun. Uh, when we did Florida, I got something in the mail from them on Florida and a magnet and some brochures and stuff. Okay. All right. Go ahead and let's get going. I'll start reading. Like I said, don't worry if you, um, if, uh, you know, you're still logging in or something, um, I will make sure that we go over, you know, you guys um, don't get left behind, okay? We'll make sure when we get to the test that everybody's good, okay? All right. 
I'm going to share the screen. Okay, let's go ahead and get going. Welcome to Southern Kenya. All right, so here's the map of where Southern Kenya is, okay? So Southern Kenya offers great opportunities to experience Kenya's wild side with popular parks and reserves dotting the area. The annual wild beast migration in Maasai Mara Game Reserve was the eighth wonder of the world that can be explored on foot, hot air balloon, and in vehicles. Again, if you guys have questions or anything, we have a lot of amazing um, agents on here that will help you just put in the chat box. All right. Um, that can ex be explored on foot, hot air balloon, and in vehicles. Towards the east lies the Salt Lake of Magadi, and along its shores, the archaeological treasures of Alorgasali. Okay, again, I apologize for my pronunciation. So if I do mispronounce some of these, <laughs> please correct me. In addition to the Mara, there's the Ambosali National Park, which is known as the Kilimanjaro Royal Courtyard. Um, <clears throat> due to its large herds of elephants, Ambalosi is famous for its big game and its great scenic beauty. The landscape is dominated by the towering Mount Kil Kilimanjaro. Um, in addition, there's the Savo East and West National Parks of a wilderness the size of Jamaica. Okay, so here's the National Park. Wow, look at that. How big is that? Okay, all right. So here's the little uh, the zebras. All right, so next lesson. So we've done the introduction, need to know. Now we're gonna go to next to territories. Okay, so we're gonna learn about the different areas. All right. Nairobi, okay, everybody knows or heard, have heard of Nairobi, right? <clears throat> Isn't that the capital? -y? All right, Nairobi is one of Africa's most vibrant and exciting cities, matching excellent global cuisine and a buzzing nightlife. This city makes for a vibrant and dynamic, dynamic city stay. It draws its name from the Maasai word Nkar Nairobi. Uh, meaning a place of cool waters, but it is also known as the green city in the sun. Behind the bright lights, there's plenty of history, culture, sport, plus a fascinating art scene waiting to be discovered. Nairobi's real claim to international fame is that it's only 20 minutes from the city center. You'll find the world's only urban national park. Okay. All right, there we are. Next lesson. Don't you like how quick these are? As long as my computer is working, we get through this good. <laughs> All right, now we have Northern Kenya. Okay, so up here. So you have Lake Turkana Desert Museum, Turkana Cultural Festival, Northern Kenya Tribes, Samburu National Reserve, Shaba National Reserve, Sibiloi Cib National Park, Koibi Fora Museum, the Cradle of Mankind, the El Molo and Samburo communities. <laughs> um, Brashan, it's very easy. If you want, just click through and and um and just listen to us and, and just ask us the test questions. I know you're 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 doubled. You're like, ah, what am I doing here? Um, I don't know if somebody wants to give her some suggestions. She's trying to catch up. Uh, Rendal, Camel, uh, Trains, Chalbi, Desert, and Community Conservancies, Central Island Park. All right, so again, as you know, I'm doing these guys, um, these are great things to like take screenshots of and stuff. So when you do promote your certificate and stuff, you know, these are things that you can share with your clients, different attractions that they can see, okay? Just some ideas. All right, so Kenya's wild and arid north is the ideal destination for those looking to really get away from it all, from the baking deserts and plains, which is like Vegas yesterday, OMG, I think it was 112 or something, to the wild shores of Lake Turkana. This is adventure country. Lake Turkana, also known as the Jade Sea, is the world's largest desert lake and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The region has a rich cultural heritage with approximately 14 local tribes. 
Travelers also have the opportunity to take a front row seat at Kenya's wildest race, the Maralai Camel Derby, or visit the beautiful Samburu and Shaba National Reserves, home to many rare northern species. All right, so desert there. Doesn't look very exciting there, right? I wouldn't want to probably send anyone there. All right, let's keep going. All right, welcome to the Rift. Which of the following make Kenya a unique destination? I would probably say all of them, yep. All right, the Rift Valley, Nakuru National Park, Lake Baringo, Lake Bogoria, Bogoria National Park, Lake Navasha, um, Hell's Gate National Park, Mount Longanat, Menang Crater, Geo, whatever, it's not opening, Spa, Carrario Valley Transit Trail. Okay. All right. So the Great Rift Valley is one of the nat natural wonders of the world. Um, and again, guys, on these tests, don't stress too much because again, we um, you can retake it as many times as you want. Okay. But most of them we're pretty good at. All right. The Great Rift Valley is one of the natural wonders of the world that fresh water and soda takes the line, the floor of the valley each offer fantastic scenery and wild bird life, including the world's largest flamingo population. Active travelers can explore the dormant volcanoes of Longanat, Suswa, and Men Menangai, or even ride mountain bikes through herds of zebras beneath the cliffs of Hell's Gate. Okay, that sounds like fun. The shores along El Nakuru and El Navasha provide um, for those who want to relax and are ideal for idyllic. Is that how you pronounce it? Idyllic? I D Y L L I C, idyllic um, weekends. Furthermore, the Kenya Lake System, located in the Great Rift, thank you, Valley, is an area of outstanding natural beauty. It is comprised of three interconnecting lakes. Lake Bagoria, Lake Nakuru, and Lake Elementari, Tata, and is enlisted as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Hey, baby, how are you? All right. Um, scroll through the map. Okay, so you see all these uh, lakes and um, areas. Okay. Nakuru. Okay. Do, 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 Nairobi there. All right. All right, next, Western Kenya. How many ethnic tribes does Kenya, is there, what are the choices? I thought it was 80 or something, but I may be wrong. Yeah, try that, see what that says. Let me know if I'm right. I'll have a good memory if so. <laughs> All right, Western Kenya. Kasumu City, Rusinga, Rusinga Island, Mafango Island, uh, Kakamega Forest, wow, Mount Elgon, uh, Takariri Island, Jaramogi, Oginga, Odinga. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and tea plantation. All right, just retake. <laughs> All right, Western Kenya is a little known world of wonders. Here you will find lush green highlands, tropical rainforest, and the great expanse of Lake Victoria. The region is positioned as Kenya's ecotourism destination. There is a wealth of cultural and historical attractions here. The massive sacred stones of Kit Makaya and Maragoli have great meaning to the Luo and Lua communities. While a more recent monument to history can be found at Tom Boy Mausoleum on Rusinga Island, Timlik Ohinga, a 14th century complex surrounded by a stone wall, was recently added to the UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites on June 18th. Of June 2018. One of Kenya's most exciting cultural events can be experienced at Kakamega, where bullfights create an unforgettable spectacle. A hike through the world famous Kakamega Forest and the highlands of Kariko shows nature at its most 
be pure and peaceful with their beautiful tree plantations and quiet hill retreats. All right, so again, lots of places to visit in Africa. All right, time for a quiz. Okay, so again, if you're trying to catch up, um, if somebody could go ahead and put the answers to the quiz in the chat box so when they get there, we will have them for them. That would be great. And let's go ahead and take our quiz. All right, where can visitors find the world's largest flamingo population? Do you remember that? I think, yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's it. The Rift Valley. Rift Valley. Let's try. Yeah. Okay. Where is Lamu Archipelago? North Coast. Look at you. All right. That is correct. Two out of two. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Yeah. You're the best. All right. All right, so now you're going to click, uh, Brishan, on the um, down below on the paragraph. Um, it'll say um, click here and um, and it'll be right here. Magical Kenya Travel Specialist. Congratulations. Make sure you print that certificate because you got one on that one. OK, so see, see how easy that was. All right. OK, very good. Uh, yeah, you probably have to do that too, because this is now where you're going to be a specialist. Okay. All right. So congratulations to out of two. Thank you guys for your help on this. All right. So general information, introductory to the magical Kenya. Now we're going to talk about accommodations. I'm glad it's working for us today. Oh, there, start. So see, I ended up getting getting a top gear one um, Wi-Fi adapter. So it, it was outside right now. So I'm going to uh, load that on. So I will not have any more problem. It was one of the top, top um, ones for speed. So, all right, types of accommodations in Kenya. From city center hotels to beautiful boutique coastal resorts, tented camps and treetop lodges, Kenya has a huge variety of accommodation. The Kenya Tourism Board promotes properties accredited by the Kenya Association of Hotel Keepers and Caterers, K-A-H-C. So you can be sure your clients are staying at a reputable property. So tented camps, looking for an authentic stay when in Kenya, look no further than a tented camp, which can be found in all of Kenya's national parks. Uh, yes, start at general and then you just work your way through. We're right now on um, on accommodation. So again, you just keep going through next lesson, next lesson, next lesson. All right. They range from uber luxurious camps with less than 10 camps to larger complexes with more on-site facilities like swimming pools, spa facilities, restaurants and bars. That would be fun, right? A campground with this uh, spa and restaurants and bars. All right, staying in a tented camp puts your clients at the heart of the action, and they should expect to hear and see lots of wildlife. Some camps are unfenced, ooh, which means a larger game can roam wherever they please. However, guests are kept safe by axaries who are never far away and will insist on walking guests to and from their tent at all times of the day or night. For those guests who are experiencing safari for the first time, a fence camp may be a good choice to give them added security. Can you imagine having you know, walking out of your tent and there's a giraffe or an elephant or something, a rhino. All right, this is very different to any kind of camping your clients might have experienced before. Whether they are staying in an eco-friendly camp or somewhere with a more permanent footprint, you can book tents which have comfortable bedrooms and bathrooms with hot running water to relax in after a long day out on the safari. All right, wow, look at that. 
what type of that's glamping right how cool is that oh my gosh that would be so fun i'm gonna take a picture and send it to my kid we'll do a family reunion and go glamping that's so cool anybody ever done that all right lodges so there are some truly stunning boutique lodges across kenya's national park and conservation conservancies they offer great vantage points if they are located on a hill top or above the treetops. This is where the term armchair safari has been coined as you can go on a safari without even leaving your lodge. Treetops Lodge in Abadair National Park is arguably one of Kenya's most famous lodges due to its royal connection. This is nestled in amongst the trees over a watering hole, so offers a great place to view wildlife from. <clears throat> in the Mount Kenya region and further north towards uh, like Lakapia, there are many lodges which are owner run, so your clients will often be hosted by the owner. Um, yes, you can. Yes, definitely. Again, um, as long as you're promoting that specific, like cruises, you can use Carnival Cruises um, promotions as long as you're promoting Carnival. Okay. So again, you know, you don't want to use Carnival's picture and promote Norwegian. Okay. So yeah, so definitely use these because that's how you promote yourself. Okay. All right. In Mount Kenya, um, Okay, the nestled amongst the trees over a watering hole so offers a great place to view wildlife from in the Mount Kenya region and further north towards or I did read this um, owner run your clients will often be hosted by the owner who will be able to tell rich stories and Anna said and, what's that and a lot more about the local area. Anessa. Anyway, okay, look at that. How cool I definitely want to do this. I'm going to tell um, that's what I want to do next. <laughs> a unique and romantic option, a starved thought can be moved outside, often onto a decking. Um, yeah, I don't <laughs> What percentage is protected? Do you guys remember that question? Give us the options. Um, often onto a decking area so clients can sleep under the stars. This kind of accommodation, eight. Okay, perfect. See, Darby, you're good. You're on it. Thank you. Can be found mainly in conservancies in like a Lakapia area. Wow, look at that. How cool. Gosh. Da, 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 da. Okay. So coastal resorts, finishing a holiday in Kenya with a few nights or more on the coast is a popular option. Uh, you, it is um, Travel Leaders Network or Travel Leaders. Okay. Um, or more on the coast is a popular option for visitors to the destination. There are five main areas of the coast, which includes Lamu, Melinda, Watamu, Mombas, Basa, and Diana. Mombasa is the main hub on the coast and Kenya's largest city. Being this close to Mombasa city means your clients are perfectly located for exploring the old cobbled streets of old Mombasa. And the attractions here, such as UNESCO World Heritage Site, Fort Jesus. Malindi is on Kenya's north coast and like Mombasa has its own international airport. Okay, so remember that Malindi has its own airport, um, like Mombasa. About 30 minutes north of Malindi is Watamu, which is famed for its deep sea fishing and water sports, namely kite surfing. Although there are some resort style properties in this area, there are more smaller boutique properties as well as some offering apartment style accommodations like recently refurbished Hemingways and Medina Paul. Guys, if you're going on a safari or Africa, you got to stay out there with the in the wilderness. How fun is that? All right. Diani, situated south of Mombasa, is accessible via the Lakoni Ferry from Mombasa City or via Uganda Airstrip. Diani is the busiest area with various small shops, bars, and restaurants located on the Y on this wild white sand strip of beach. Heading further south, visitors will find Galu, Kinondo, 
uh, Miss Wamba Wenny <laughs> and Funzi Keys. Wow. There are lots more boutique properties in this area, and the further south you travel, the more secluded properties become. Perfect for those wanting an escape or a romantic hideaway. All right, so here you are. Beautiful sand beach. All right, you have city hotels also. Whether staying in Nairobi or Mombasa, there's plenty of choice. For those needing to be close to the Kenyatta International Conference Center or the commercial hub, there are many international brands in this area. The suburbs of Nairobi, such as Langata and Karen, contrast to downtown Nairobi in that they are very leafy, green areas of the city. There are new properties in these areas offering a palatial colonial style of accommodation. Even if your clients are staying in the city, they will never be far from nature. With Nairobi's National Park minutes away from the center, staying within or on the boundaries of the park is an option. Westlands, just north of downtown Nairobi, um, is a trendy, um, yeah, travel leader is good, yep is a trendy district with chic boutique hotels, bringing something new to the existing portfolio here. All right, so there's Crown Plaza. You can stay in this anywhere, guys. Get them out on those safaris. All right, question. Which of these would you recommend if visiting the Kenya International Conference Center? City Hotel. City Hotel, that's correct. Well done. Okay, so yeah, they want to be there to be able to get to their meetings, right? All right. Well done. Okay. Da, 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 da. All right, where is the Treetops Lodge? That's the first one. Abadair. Very good. Thank you. And what is the name of the UNESCO World Heritage Site in Mombasa? First one. <laughs> Yay, two out of two. All right, so look, you got a certificate, guys. Download your certificate, okay? So again, we will keep moving forward. But again, this is now your second certificate that you guys get. So again, take advantage, print it. Uh, market yourself, okay, talk about those camps. Um, how fun is that, okay? And we're gonna keep moving forward, so stay on board with us. Um, again, I am recording, so if anybody does need to jump off, please feel free, you can always catch back up um, as you see other people are doing it today. Um, so again, uh, and just so you guys know, you can do these all together um, or by yourself, okay? So again, you don't have to wait for me, but they are fun um, to do together. Uh, Sasha was the first one, okay? Okay, it, uh, um, the question, what was the question? Let me see, can I go back? Okay, let's go back, let's go here, quiz. Um, yeah, Abasi, and then 14, no, 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 yep, yeah, no. What was the one? Hold on, I have to reset it. Oh, they're out of order. Abadir was it, right? And then what was the second? Second one, Fort Jesus. There you go. Okay, perfect. Yay! All right, did you get it, Sasha? Da, da, da. Okay, yay. All right, so again, print your certificate. Now you guys should have two. Um, all right, so congratulations. So we have completed the general information. We have earned 50 points, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and keep moving forward. So I'm gonna go back up here to training. So we can see where we're at. Okay, so must do's. So I think we finished this, right? Nope. Okay. Do the nope. Okay. So must do's. How long was must visitors quarantine? Hmm. I forgot. Hmm. 
15, was it? Oh, I don't know. 15? 14. 14 days. Thank you. Again, as you know, a lot of these have been, um, they're lifting a lot of restrictions, guys. So when you go to book anybody out of the country, just look to see what the new rules are every time because it changes like on a daily basis. Okay. All right, is everybody here now? Where are you guys? I wanna make sure everybody's on the same page. What I did was just went back up to training um, and then started there again. Let me know where you guys are. Just sending on my daily text to everybody good. No worries, Brishan, you'll, you'll catch up. So passed in progress and all. Okay. Um, internet only, right? I think online. Okay, so we're on nature and wildlife, it looks like. All right, explore nature and wildlife on, a, on an iconic safari. Kenya is beguiling, be, be, beguiling, <laughs> see, I apologize, mix of iconic African landscapes and a wide range of wildlife. A holiday to Kenya will provide your clients with the opportunity to enjoy what is arguably the top Africa experience to see the infamous big five, elephant, lion, leopard, buffalo, and rhino. Kenya means the safari as it used to be with unusually quiet trails and the thrill of stumbling upon wildlife when you least expect it. Ah! right? <laughs> Enjoy the magic of enjoying animals in their natural habitat in the middle of film landscapes. What can you, where can you see what, okay? So um, this is again, maybe um, take a picture of this to help um, promote again, um, different areas, which I want to take it so I can share, so I can plan our trip. All right, Ambasalia National Park, Southern Kenya, the best place to in the world to watch elephants. Savo, East and West National Parks, Southern Kenya, great places to see lions and big cats. Masai Mara, Western Kenya, offers great possibility of seeing the big five at the same time. Okay, that's the elephants, the rhinos, the giraffes. Lake Nakuru National Park with its flamingo lined lake and forest clad escarpments is another incredible place for big five safaris. Great place to see black rhinos. And then Maru National Park, Central Highlands, excellent location to place to see lions and cheetahs. So I think me, I'd like to do this one, see the big five all at the same time. Okay. So again, if you're just doing this, a lot of people will take pictures, start, start um, folders and stuff to have um, places to go back and refer to. So you don't have to, where did I see that again? All right, so explore pristine beaches and maritime towns. So if you wanna do one for safaris, put this in there. All right, Kenya's Indian Ocean coast is one of Africa's prettiest shores. Long stretches of white sand, translucent waters and coves sheltered by palm trees would be a sufficient reason for most travelers to visit. Beach holidays that also offer the opportunity to explore the ancient coastal towns, view the historic sites, spend some time shopping, enjoy the marine beauty of the cities and finish a day with an exotic cocktail in a bar or club. The key Kenyan coast destinations include Mombasa, Melinda, Watamu, Diana, and Lamu. Ideal for couples, groups of friends, families, and seniors, okay? All right, again, beautiful, beautiful ocean. 
show you just some pretty sights. Okay. All right, marine parks. Reefs protected a lot of Kenya's coast from the Indian Ocean. A number of marine parks have been established along the coast to protect an abundance of marine life and underwater ecosystems. Inside the reefs, on the reefs, and outside the reefs, the weather on Kenya coast is consistently warm and sunny. If your clients are interested, um, are interested uh, in scuba diving, snorkeling, or underwater photography, Kenya Marines Parks are a must visit, okay? Scuba safaris, Watamu Marine National Park, Matwaba and Barracuda uh, Reef, oops, yeah, scuba, um, is renowned dive sites such as Watamu, uh, Machupa, Barracuda Reef, and Kasite Mampugatu uh, Marine Reserve is a hugely popular experience on the Kenya coast. Reefs here are home to amazing coral gardens and reef walls full of holes, caves, cracks, and crevices. Outside of the reef, visitors can see mi mi migratory pods of whales, dolphins, flying fish, reef sharks, giant turtles, eels, and manta rays. How cool is that? All right, then you have Swahili culture and Dahau trips. Lamu is a fascinating island, the secret pearl of Kenya. Lamu is the oldest Swahili town and the best conserved of East Africa. There are testimonies of its uh, history in every corner of the town. The walls, the stones, the doors speak about it. The doors carved in wood are authentic works of art, perfectly preserved and the best example of an architecture and centuries of antiquity. antiquity. Uh, one of the best experiences that the traveler can enjoy in Lamu is the Dao trip. Set sail with the salty winds on a creaky Dao. On the way, the traveler can swim and snorkel with bright fish, eat coconut rice. Never does Kenyan coast feel more romantic than when seen from a Dao on a trip from the Lamu archipelago or sailing from Lamu to the coral ruins of one mighty Takwa on Manda Island. Dow sailing in Lamu is another way to do tourism. All right. Next lesson. Kenya coast, adventure and sports. All right. So if your clients love language, um, love language is adventure uh, and excitement, then look no further for thrilling activities in stunning locations that are bound to make your blood rush. Visitors can choose a... Um, Challenging trek to the summit of Africa's second highest peak, Mount Kenya, paraglide over Kirio Valley, or even experience a safari in style on camel or horseback. Visitors can also enjoy a spectacular view of the great wild beast migration from the skies on a hot air balloon every July to October at the world-renowned Maasai Mara Game Reserve. Um, they can raft down the river Tani, taking on the rapids, dive the depths of the Indian Ocean and swim with whales and dolphins or view some of Africa's greatest shipwrecks. For the adrenaline enthusiast in the mood for some bungee jumping and zip lining, they can enjoy these breathtaking experiences in Sagana. All right, there are plenty of opportunities in Kenya to stay active, whether in the city or in the bush, from running with champions to taking nature walks in Kenya's green spaces. Kenya, the world's best playground, boasts of expansive landscapes, world-class sporting facilities. Whether your client is a sports fan or actively enthusiast, we have them covered. All right, there you go. Archery, what else? Do, 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 do. All right, running and biking. Kenya provides a perfect running um. Um, that's the city, city hotel. Provides a perfect running training environment on a run. Visitors will experience why Kenya is known as one of the most geographically diverse and awe-inspiring countries in the world. There are expert coaches and guided running holidays. 
available for clients to book whilst in Kenya. Cycling is another fantastic way for visitors to see the country. Kenya provides an epic natural playground for all who venture here. The possibility of biking past grazing buffaloes, giraffes, impalas, and zebras is a top experience for lovers of both nature and cycling. Where? Okay, Western Kenya, Itan, Eldorot, Kapsarat. There are lots of training camps in this zone. North Rift, high altitude training, Trans Rift Trail. Masai Mara, biking in the grassland of Masai Mara can be a dream. Hell's Gate National Park, Rift Valley, Central Highlands, and the coastal area. It is ideal for couples, groups, and families. Then you have hiking and trekking. Kenya's highlands are not a place to be admired from afar. A few days, a few days, some determination and several layers of warm clothing, your clients could find themselves immersed in some otherworldly landscapes, many of which can only be reached on foot. Where? Mount Kenya National Park, UNESCO World Heritage Site, Central Highlands, Abadir's National Park and Reserve, Mount Elgin, Western Kenya, Kakamiga Forest, Western Kenya, uh, Mount Longana, Rift Valley, Hell's Gate National Park, Rift Valley, Kiraro Valley, Rift Valley, ideal for couples and groups. Coastal Adventures, the Kenya coast promises some of the best diving and snorkeling in Africa beyond the Red Sea. In addition to maraud um, fish species and colorful corals, charismatic um, marine mammals, including dolphins, hey, hey, sea turtles, and whale sharks, humpback whales, also frequent the Kenyan waters. Sorry guys, my dog is um, blind and 15 years old. And so whenever any noise happens, he barks because he can't see, so he's like scared. All right, if diving and snorkeling are too tranquil for your client, they have the option of windsurfing and kite surfing. So Wadamu, North Coast, diving, snorkeling, windsurfing, kite surfing. Malindi, North Coast, diving, snorkeling, windsurfing, kite surfing. La Moon, North Coast, Manda Island, windsurfing, kite surfing. Kilithi, North Coast, diving, snorkeling, windsurfing, kite surfing, fishing. Mombasa, snorkeling. Diana Beach, diving, um, snorkeling, windsurfing, kite surfing. Wasini Island, snorkeling and diving. And Cassette Marine National Park, South Coast, diving and snorkeling. Ideal for couples, groups, and families. Inland water sports. Wow, lots of water sports, right? It is not just the coast that offers water adventures. Visitors can also get water in the many Kenya's inland regions. White water rafting along the Nigaro, Iswaro, Nigaro, and Tana rivers is very popular. Expeditions with full equipment, expert guides can last between three and eight days or can be done as a day trip from Nairobi. Both rivers wind their way through spectacular white water with up to 30 kilometers of nonstop class one or class two, three, and four rapids in some places and separate stretches of demanded, demanding class five waters, okay? Kayaking and another popular activity. Many visitors choose to kayak as part of a safari. Visitors could be on a kayak and see a spoonbill stork swim alongside them or perhaps share the water with birds of elephants. How cool is that? Escaping the midday heat. So where's that at? Um, Iswa Nigro, uh, Nigiro River, whitewater rafting, kayaking, Sagana River, whitewater rafting, kayaking, Taya, Tana River, whitewater rafting, kayaking, huh, Lake Baringo, kayaking, um, Nate, Lake Navasha, kayaking, ideal for couples, groups, and families. <sighs> Some of these words. Woo. All right. Culture and heritage. So we're halfway done. Authenticity is the world word that comes to mind when one thinks of Kenya's intact cultural and historical gems that visitors will find sprinkled across the country. Kenya is home to various United Nations educational, scientific, and cultural organization, UNESCO, and other popular Kenyan heritage sites. Some of Kenyan's most famous cultural sites include the Nairobi National Museum, the Snake Park, the Botanical Gardens. Yay, okay, very good. Just keep going to next lesson or go up to training and then go to the next lesson. Um, the, what are we on now, guys? Sorry.
Uh, right now, so you, you, we finished, um, now we're on the must do experiences. Sorry. Okay. All right, um, some of Kenya's most famous sites. Okay, there we read that. Cultural encounters with ancient communities. Kenya offers a rich variety of cultural experience with plenty of interaction with locals. Travelers often get the opportunity to learn from Maasai, Samburu, Tukana, El Molo, and other communities and take part in activities. The Maasai people with their traditional red shukas Brilliant smiles and overwhelming presence add a depth of warmth to any trip in the Mara region. The same can be said for the striking Turkana, Samburu, and El Molo people. The annual Lake Turkana Festival, Lamu Cultural Festival, Rusinga Island Festival are colorful events of traditional singing and dancing performances. It's a brilliant way to meet and interact with local people and perfect for photographers who wish to capture local tribes in their glorious full attire. So you have Lake Turkana Festival, Northern Kenya, Turkana Saburo and Elmo, Elmolo people, Northern Kenya, Lamu Cultural Festival, North Coast, Mara Region, Southwest Kenya, Kasumi, Kasumu, Lake Victoria, West Kenya, and Lakipia Plateau, Central Highlands. Wow. All right. Ideal for couples, groups, and friends, and families, and seniors. Next lesson. All right, discover the vibrant Kenyan cities, Nairobi, Mombasa, and Kasumi. Cosmopolitan, this is the best way to describe Kenyan cities, starting with the world's only wildlife capital of Nairobi city to the coastal city of Mombasa Island. Kenyan cities are modern and the whole world is here. These cities are abuzz with amazing skyscrapers, fun nightlife, and urban culture to admire and adopt. On a city tour, you can experience the rich history dotting different sections of the city. Take lovely pictures of the cities at night or even experience a real city life of city dwellers on the streets. Okay. Kenya's capital, Nairobi, is an essential element of the Kenyan experience. The city has risen in a single century from a brackish, uninhabited swampland to a thriving modern capital. Uh, modern Nairobi is still the safari capital of Africa, but the modern world has quickly caught up with the city. A frontier town no more, Nairobi is one of Africa's largest, most interesting cities. Nairobi is a city that never sleep, seems to sleep. The entire town has a boundless energy and a thriving place where all human life can be found. It's a vibrant city, cosmopolitan city full of attractions, both natural, Nairobi National Park, David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust, and the Giraffe Center, and cultural BOMAs of Kenya, National uh, Museum, Karen Blixen Museum, etc. This is not a modern capital separated from the great wilderness that surrounds it. Just outside the city is Nairobi National Park, 113 square kilometers of plains, cliffs, and forests. The park is home to large herds of zebra, wild beasts, buffalo, giraffe, and more. Rhino, cheetah, and a large number of lions are also found here. Living wild within 20 minutes of the center of town, ideal for couples, groups of friends, families, and seniors. Mombasa is a place steeped in history, yet at the same time, fascinating commercial and cosmopolitan coastal city. Mombasa, the traveler will be captivated by the mixture and acceptance of varied cultures, its history, coastal metropolitan flair, vibrant nightlife. This city overlooks a wild harbor, a white harbor where um, commercial shipping mingles with traditional sailing dows. The true heart of Mombasa is found in, in the exotic old town among the narrow winding streets and Arab architecture. The air here is always heavy with the scent of spice at the water's edge is Fort Jesus, a UNESCO World Heritage Site imposing, imposing fort that stands watch over the harbor. The high gun turrets, turrets, battlements, and underground passages of the 16th century fort were the center of the historic struggle for control of the Kenya coast between the Portuguese army and the Shirazi Arabs. This war was waged around Mombasa over hundreds of years in countless battles, and the fort stands as a testament to the, this tumultuous past. 
Modern Mombasa is a city of great diversity in life where both history and progress are greatly valued. This is a city where all are welcomed and quickly absorbed into the great coastal melting pot. Ideal for couples, groups of friends, families, and seniors. Then you have Kasumo City, quiet city on the shores of Lake Victoria and a wide streets and fine colonial architecture. Uh, Kasumo was awarded the city status in 2001 and has grown into an attractive urban center with an excellent museum, one of Kenya's largest open markets, excellent facilities for visitors, just one kilometer from Kasumu's central business district is the Kasumu Impala um, Sanctuary, a walking sanctuary holding area for animals which require special protection in this densely populated area. Herds of impalas and zebras roam freely here. Within the sanctuary is an animal orphanage that contains a collection of lions, leopards, cheetahs, baboons, hyenas, jackals, bush dukers, uh, bush buck, and buffaloes. To the south of Kasumi City, fishing villages line Lake Victoria towards the broad waters of Homa Bay. This area is home to Rumu, Ruma National Park, a small but attractive park with many unique species. The best way to appreciate the beauty of this region is on the lake itself. The sun shines brightly and gen gentle breezes rise from the water. In the trees along the shores, fish eagles call to each other with long haunting cries. Sunsets turn the water gold as the local fishermen in their canoes pull in their nets and slowly turn for home. Ideal for couples, groups of friends, uh, families, and seniors. Okay, quiz time. Again, guys, I appreciate you guys staying on board with me. We're down to nine people. Wow. Hopefully, I'll have a few of you stick with me to the end. But again, if not, don't worry. You guys can do these on your own. How many species of birds does Kenya have? Does anybody know that one? Oh, no. 1,100. What is it? Uh, oh, over, over 400, I think. Let's try that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You can do diving, snorkeling, windsurfing, fishing, and kite surfing in Kenya. I would say true. True. All right. Where is the best place to see Kenya or to see flamingos in Kenya? I think it's the fourth one. I think it's the last one. Mm -hmm. Very good. Look at you guys. All right. What about the wild beast uh, migration? Was that this one? Oh, I don't know. Right. No. I think it's the first one. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Okay. What is the oldest Swahili town and the best conserved? Okay. Bamu. Abosa. What are the traditional big five? Okay, that was elephant. The last one. Leopard, mm -hmm. right? All right. Uh, so, oh no, yeah. back next time. So you need to have all, all of them. Okay, so this is true. Mm -hmm. Best place. Second one. The Rift Valley. Mm -hmm. Lamu, the first one. Lamu. Lamu. Over 400. Over 400. And the one that has leopard, the last one. This was the one. And. Yeah. Uh, I think it's that one. one. Yeah. July through September. Yep. Yay. All right, everybody pass. Again, another certificate. Congratulations, guys. Do you want to do one more? What, you wanna... What's the, the big five? The one that has the leopard. The le oh, got it. That's the wild beast one. I'm sorry about the story. That's okay. What was... Uh... Um, is that the, the dates? I think through September, right? J July through September. Yeah. All right. July through September. So see here, guys, this is what your certificate. So you guys now should have three certificates, okay? So again, make sure you promote yourself, okay? Must do experiences. So now add this, put the pictures of like the the animal, put a picture of the, the camping and stuff. Lots of great, great stuff here. Oh, wow. 
Okay, so um, again, post it on our chat groups too. let people know, you know, guys, get in here and do these certificates with us. They're fun. You know, we take them together. All right. So uh, let's see what else we have. A few more. Do you guys want to do one more? Let's see what this one is. Do, do, do. These are sample itineraries. You want to do this real quick and then uh, and then we'll call it a day and we'll come back to it next Sunday. What do you guys think? Sounds good. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Let's good. do it really quick. Okay. So sample itineraries. Is this where you guys are at too? Is this the next one? Let's make sure. Let's go back to training. Yes. All right. It's only nine minutes. Yeah, this one's 45 for the next one. So we'll start that next week. All right. Wow. So let's do the itineraries. So as you see here, let's look, let's just take a quick look. So we got one and a half, two hours. Those are really quick, really quick. So yeah, it looks like we just have two hours left. So I think we should be able to finish it next month. I mean, next week, if you guys wanna do it with me. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do the itineraries. All right, so. Uh, recommended itineraries can be tricky at times. This course will give you some great ideas on how to build. So this is, again, this will give you great ideas. You could say, hey guys, look at this amazing place. I'm certified now and here's some sample itineraries for you to enjoy. All right, so from classic twin centers to the more niche and specialized. All right, now let me get there, there we go. Okay, so the Great Rift, a seven day uh, trip. All right. So we click on it or we just go to okay, three sample itineraries. Okay. Am I missing something? <laughs> I think I am. Hold on. <laughs> All right, building itineraries. I didn't complete that. Oh, maybe it's just showing us the the route or something, right? But it should tell us, right? Am I am I doing something wrong, guys? I don't know. It seemed like it would go from detail to detail or destination. Right. Tell us. Mine did the same thing. Tell us about where where they're. I guess is it a visual itinerary? Yeah. So maybe it's like okay, go here to here, but you think that it's let me show route detail. Here it goes. Oh, there oh, we okay. go. There you go. <laughs> All right, so under a three hour drive from Nairobi, the lakes of the Great Rift Valley are the perfect choice for the budget conscious travelers. You may have gotten it on email also, guys, um, your, your certificate. Due to its close proximity to the capital, it is also a popular choice for domestic travelers wanting to escape to the country for the weekend. So start your trip at Lake Nakuru National Park. Historically, the alkaline waters here attracted millions of flamingos. However, in recent years, there are found, these are found further north at Lake Begoria and Baringo. The area is regarded as bird watchers paradise, even in the absence of flamingos. It is a fantastic place to spot white rhino. Although not native to this area, the white rhino population has thrived in this park since being introduced as part of rehabilitation program. An extension of your stay in the Great Rift Valley might include Abadir National Park, located adjacent to Lake Nakuru. The park is perhaps most famously known for its royal connection, as it is here that the then Princess Elizabeth learned she would become queen while staying at Treetops Lodge. Visitors flock here to follow um, in the royal footsteps. The forest foliage makes game drives all more dramatic, often concealing lion, elephant, and smaller game until you are right next to them. 
Lake Navasha is approximately one hour and a half away south of Abadir. This freshwater lake offers the opportunity to get out onto the water in a small motorized boat. Expect to see hippos in the shallows and fish eagles swooping down from the tops of submerged trees. It is a good option to include in route back to Nairobi as a day trip or extension to your stay in Kenya. All right. So there you go. All right, so that's one. So let's go to the next one. Okay. So we'll do the bush one. All right, so bush and bay, or be, bush and beach itinerary, 10 days. On arrival in Nairobi, take a short transfer from Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to this smaller domestic terminal, Wilson. The Masa uh, Mara is arguably at the top of most visitors' wish list and remains ever popular. As a result, there are regularly daily departures to Mara from Wilson Airport. It is possible to drive, which will take approximately five hours from Nairobi to the Masa uh, Mara. The Mara has an abundance of game, making each safari drive different. You could spend longer here, dependent on time and budget, but four days, four to five days is an appropriate amount of time. You could opt to divide your time between two different properties to see even more of the National Reserve and its conservancies. Top of the list to see for visitors are the big cats, but all of the big five could be seen here, including an abundance of bird life and smaller game too. After the early starts of the game drives in the Mara, many will relish the chance to spend a few nights on the coast for a relaxing break before their departure back home. Domestic flights will be via Wilson with a short stopover before catching the afternoon flight to the South Coast Airport, Uconda. From here, the boutique resorts along the Viani Beach are all accessible, okay? So there you go. I wanna do the Mara with the five um, animals and I want to do and do the um, overnight in the um, tents and then I also want to do the giraffe place where they come and eat breakfast with you I don't know if you've seen on uh, Facebook or whatever but like one of the people were doing it the, the giraffes bumped their butt butted their heads and and grabbed their food and stuff so that was kind of funny all right an introduction to safari 10 days okay visitors from the uk can choose to fly with kenya airways via nairobi for access to the coastal airport moy international within 45 minutes you can be relaxing at one of the larger resorts in nayali and shanzu beaches with over 500 kilometers of beautiful coastline kenya is the ideal destination for beach holiday with large stretches of pristine white sands world-class water sports and outdoor pursuits available. Three hours southeast of Mombasa is Savo East, the largest of Kenya's national parks. The Maasai Mara pales in comparison to Savo National Park, which is roughly the size of Wales. As such, you can often feel that like you are the only person in the park going for hours without seeing another vehicle. Kind of scary, huh? The red endless stretching miles of tracks throughout the park certainly help add to this feeling of isolation. The park is vast and as such wildlife may be more spread out than you would expect to find in smaller national parks in Kenya. But this adds to the drama when you do see something. In particular, expect to see lots of elephants, lions, and cheetahs. It is worth spending at least one night here to get the full safari experience before heading back to the beach. All right. There you go. All right, I think we're done here. Is that it? Yep. All right, I think we're done. Let me go back here. Yep, we did that. And now we have the quiz. See, that was quick, right? Mm -hmm. The lakes of the Great Rift Valley are how many hour drive from Nairobi? Oops, which one? Three. Three hours, sorry. What is the minimum days recommended to stay in Maasai Mara National Reserve? What is it? Five. Thank you. The lakes of Great Rift Valley are how many drives north? Three hours. Very good. Well done, you got another certificate. <laughs>
All right, guys. So what did we get today? Three, two or three certificates today, right? Yay, yay. All right, so again, congratulations, everybody. Um, I promise you my internet will be up and working well, the next one. Um, on Tuesday, we're doing Los Angeles and probably Santa Monica. So if you wanna learn about California, mm -hmm. that's what we're doing on Tuesdays, all right? Friday, uh, we're doing special mm -hmm. needs, okay? Next Sunday is Father's Day. I don't know if you guys wanna join me for on that or if you wanna reschedule, we'll finish it on the 26th. Let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah. But uh, the 17th is special needs on the C, okay? If you wanna learn about that. On the 18th, we're doing profit agility, okay? Um, that's the one, guys, great deal. I went to Costa Rica for an entire week in a three bedroom for $138, okay? For the entire week. So, um, we're doing that training on Saturday. And then I'm also doing a, I have to go to the local office and do a training. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing the training on there, but same thing. I'm going to be doing a certificate workshop from there, which I'll get on live. Um, Tuesday, ne the next Tuesday, we're doing Beverly Hills. The next Tuesday, we're doing Sonoma. Um, and then on the 24th, we're doing Florida Paradise. Okay. And on the 25th, we're doing China. So if you guys can think of other programs, other things you want to learn about, you're going on vacation, you want to know about a certain area. Now, all these we have already done, um, but, you know, there's many, 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 many places out there. Uh, Princess, we already did Princess. That's what I was telling you here. It's right here. It's a nine course one. It's a long hmm. one. But. Look what you get, guys. I think I showed you before the, the three to 30 day cruise. All right. Definitely get in and finish it. Just skip to the questions and take the test. <laughs> but yeah, um, definitely. And, and again, I want to stress that take advantage. And you get it for both Princess and Canard. You do both trainings, you get two free cruises. Don't forget that. But what I wanted to stress is People, things change sometimes like like carnival i think used to give us free cruises now you have to book a certain amount um so again right now princess has given us the free cruise but they could always decide you know what as of you know december we're going to start requiring you to to book at least a certain amount and then mm -hmm. you're you know it's like so what i'm saying is take advantage while you can and again I did the training. I did a training for my boyfriend. My daughters did the training. So now I get to go on a free cruise with him. I get, you know, or he gets to come with me. So take advantage of this, guys, okay? And let me just show you really quick. Disney, same thing. Disney, you get free Disney passes every single year. I just went in October. I went again. Um, in October, I went to Disney World. Um, April, I went to Disneyland, okay, for free. So definitely take advantage of these perks, guys. So again, let me show you some of the, they're under $200, some of these. Look at this. Seven day, France and Italy for $120. Um, you have uh, uh, Alaskan cruises here too. Um, there's a couple other ones here. This is $215, a 14 day cruise, Nor or 14 day, yeah, Norway, Denmark, and Sweden interior room but all you do is sleep there uh yeah disney does require you to complete the training again it's a long training six to eight hours one friday night it took me two glasses of wine no <laughs> uh, <but> the <laughs> disney trainings right here okay um we just did you always have to do assessments and updates okay but um on disney yes uh you do need a clia card too so again that's why um, invest in a CLIA card if you plan on traveling, guys, because it is a great investment um, and you get to write it off. All right. So when you do the training for Disney, um, everything's right here. OK, you go to the Disney training right here. College of Knowledge. I didn't even know they had these adventures. And of course, they're right here. Again, you're going to once you do this training, you're going to oh, I want to go. I want to go. OK, right here. Um, but as you see, they're each of them are about an hour long. OK, once you complete that, you go here to available benefits. And this is going to tell you what free 
ticket. So you get for Disney World a one to 10. No, it only $69. It's, it's regularly 119, but you get it for 69 because Archer Travel is now a um, platinum agency. The IATA card, you earn that once you earn 5,000 in commission, okay? All right, so you get a one to 10 day half price hopper tickets, okay? Half price. Or you get a one day hopper for free. That's Disney World. As you see, I haven't requested my benefit. I hopefully we're going to go in October. Here you get a free Disney hopper, okay? As you see, I used mine. You get 35 to 50% off the hotels, the cruise lines, travel agent rates. You get to go on the ship tour. I got to go on the Disney dream ship. My daughter was with me. She is 18. She's an agent. And she's like, mom, this is beautiful. We have to go on this. So again, take advantage of all these amazing perks. Again, marketing material right here up at the very top, each of our... Uh, marketing each of our vendors has a marketing tab order free marketing material e brochures and mini sites get on your facebook and share 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 um these are um again share this about the the shout outs on our birthday um this is kind of a funny one two kinds of people one that packs uh six days before a trip and the ones that wake up the day to do a load of laundry um you know, borrow any of these guys, any of these. There's me, see, one glass of wine. <laughs> Again, look at uh, Summer posting her certificate and tagging me, letting people know, look at me. I completed my pleasant. This is funny. Did you guys watch this uh, trial? There once was a girl who made a turd on the Objection here, say. Objection overruled. Uh, Mr. Sparrow, please continue. <clears throat> There once was a girl who made a turd on the bed and her name was Amber Heard. She made stuff up to bring Johnny down, so up to court they go. Soon may the verdict come that Amber's lying out her bum. We'll drink a mega pints of rum when Johnny's free to go. Anyway, I always pose little funny that things. That was awesome. <laughs> It goes on for about like two minutes, so you guys can pull it off my Facebook. Um, also, here, share this. You'll get lots of interaction. How many How many did I get? Okay. Um, only two shares. I think I posted something else, but um, right here, funny things. Look at this. Somebody said the last one. My fiance and I requested twin beds when we booked. Instead, you placed us with a king bed. We now hold you responsible and want reimbursed for the fact that I became pregnant. That wouldn't have happened if you put us in a room we booked. Yeah. these are real real complaints guys it's your <laughs> duty to the operator to advise us of noisy unruly guests before we travel i was bitten by a mosquito the men the brochure did not mention mosquitoes how ridiculous so post that you'll get lots of interaction okay um oh this is gabriella she posts she tagged me on it but i posted my girls they do like i said they're all independent contractors so they do um nails this is, can you, this is trying to look at her. Oh. <laughs> and that's oh, no. how I met your mother. <laughs> how embarrassing. <huh? laughs> here, go build a life you don't need a vacation from. And right here, I can help you to do that. And then you invite them to their web, to the webinar. So share that. That's my uh, backyard. Again, you don't have to be great to get started. You just have to get started to be great. I belong on the beach travel so borrow 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 here so i've had 103 interactions i've had 32 comments and 40 people share it so definitely guys take this out of my facebook and share it you'll get a lot of interaction here we just got our tattoos for nikki lee watch this guy uh, <laughs> pass out boop <laughs> this one's kind of funny He's fishing and gets pulled in and all the fish start knocking him out. Oh, uh, right in the head. All right. So just wanted to kind of share with you guys. Uh, look, we had a tornado. I don't know if you're around with me. I was doing a training the other day when my internet knocked out. Um, and I heard something. I looked around. I thought it was like a semi. We had like a, a, like a bust of wind. 
coming. It actually took all these floaties and a couple of these um, uh, uh, mats or whatever, three streets over in somebody's backyard. It picked it up and dropped it over there. <laughs> so I got all of them back except for my sloth right here. But look, it broke up a table, it tore off our jacuzzi lid. Crazy. Wow. Right. So again, um, what can travel consultants do right here? Again, this is a great one. Let people know what you can do as a travel agent, okay? All right, so just wanted to kind of share some ideas with you guys. Again, congratulations. Please get in there and post your um, post your certificates today. Post about the camps. Look at this, a waterfall restaurant. You're actually in the waterfall. Yeah. So again, share, share, share. Life offers you a thousand chances. All you have to do is take one. Drunk parents caught on video. This one's funny too. Um, Wow. <laughs> he just stands there looking at her. Are you okay? <laughs> Help me out! Come on! Oh my god. Shh. Oh my god, did you break something? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> wow. This is going to be on their camera. <laughs> they're, they're at their kid's house. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Are you okay, buddy? I mean, Holy you fuck. Are you, you hurt? Yeah, you me. I would have totally shot the world this too. So again, you know, I get interaction. That's that's a fun one. Okay. Are you free tomorrow? Nope. I'm expensive. All right. So just <laughs> to kind of share some fun stuff with you. So um have a great day, guys. So um you guys uh book to buy a backyard like that. <laughs> Hey, again, guys, you know, I'm, I'm 57. I struggled. I raised four kids on my own since I was, um, for the past 20 years. Okay. Um, I lost yeah. my house. I lost my job. I declared bankruptcy. I was in a mess. Okay. Um, I worked for insurance for 30 years. I hated it. Um, but I found this and, um, I chose when I first started, cause I was working full time and I was delivering pizzas at night. Okay. Then what happened? My pizza, my, um, pizza hut and Papa John's I was delivering pizzas for blew the engine on my car. What do I do? So, um, I've always loved to travel and, um, I've always wanted to be in travel, but I needed to support my kids, but I found this and I chose the, the marketing side. I chose the team building side and within a year and a half, I made over the 80,000 I was making on my full-time job doing the marketing, doing the team building, the mentoring. And mm -hmm. I was able to fire my boss, went to Cancun for three weeks and never looked back. So if I can do this, guys, you guys could do it. Now, again, I chose that side of it because I needed the money right away. It's guaranteed every month you'll get it. I consider bookings a rolling paycheck. As you book, you get paid, you get paid, you know, so you keep doing that. I book, I book a lot for friends and family. I don't book a lot for anybody else because it, to me, it's a lot of work, you know, and I'd rather do these trainings and help you guys and stuff. So, and I'd rather help people to change their lives, you know? So again, my suggestion, do both sides of the business. Why not? You know, um, again, you only need six people in your team to be able to um, cover your monthly expense. Okay. And, you know, again, it's very easy. What you do is you share things like this, like I do. And then, um, and then you invite them to a webinar and you let us as presenters share the information. And the next thing you know, you're making a, a thousand a month. My boyfriend, I just got him making a thousand a month now. Um, I decided to build him up. You know, my daughter is next. So again, yeah, I moved like 10 times in like, 10 years or five years, you know, um, my ex, uh, fiance kicked us out. And af right after he kicked us out a week later, I got laid off from my job, you know? So, 
um, yeah, I struggled. I had to move to California for uh, a year. Um, at that time, they had that shooting here in Vegas. My son um, is a uh, police officer now. He's actually a detective now. So I did good. My son's a detective here in Vegas. And my three daughters are all now independent contractors um, because they saw the struggle I went through. They do travel, but they do nails. They went into business together. They do nails, lashes, um, facials, and photography. Uh, so again, um, definitely, guys, um, you know, live your life. Get out there. So no, it didn't come easy. Um, and as I said, um, you know, I'm, I'm 57 now, um, but I did that two years. Well, no, I've been with the company six years since my daughter. Um, so here's, here's my, my daughter. She does, um, boudoir pictures. Look at this crazy, but it's money. She makes good money doing it. Um, she does also, um, uh, different photography and stuff and they do the hush sorry so pretty different things so that's what she does and my youngest daughter then does um the makeup for her okay um and then let me see if autumn so again just uh you know take the chance to get out there so again the lashes that's that's my daughter that i just showed you with the photography she does the lashes too. This is my middle daughter did my lashes. This is my youngest daughter that does the nails. <laughs> so um, anyway, just kind of wanted to show you my, my other daughter's stuff. So you get out there, you be an independent contractor, you live your life and quit letting somebody else tell you what to do, okay? Um, get out there and do what you want to do. And that's what we're here is to help you. Okay. So here she is. She went to Hawaii. They're traveling the world. Um, and again, they learned from me. Okay. So that's my middle daughter. And then my youngest, she doesn't post much because she's just starting out. She just turned 21. And this is her, not that you really care, but, um, this was her birthday party. Okay. So she got a little drunk. Today, on the video, <laughs> June 2nd, 2022. And how old are you? 20. <laughs> All right. So anyway, again, nails. She does nails. See, if you ever come to Vegas, look at this. I sent this. Thank you. You too. Thank you. So here, can you do this for me? Isn't that gross? <laughs> Again, get interaction, guys. So people are like, oh, gross. So anyway, just kind of wanted to share some ideas with you and stuff. So stay plugged in. Um, if you want to learn the mentoring ship program, again, um, it's a totally separate group. Ask your sponsor to add you. Um, stay plugged in on all the trainings. Uh, join the accountability partner. If you haven't filled out the form, fill it out. I will be matching people up next weekend. And we will finish up um, Kenya on the 26th only because Father's Day's next month, next week. And, you know, whether you're a single mom or, you know, you do have your, your family together, you want to be with them. Okay. So um, we'll put here Kenya complete. Okay. So have an amazing day, guys. How will we be notified about accountability? So what happens? You fill out that form. When I match you up, I'll send an email with everybody's name. I match you up with two to four people with their name and email. And I say, okay, here you will go contact each other. And then you guys work together and plan things. And you'll hear the different stories of people that have, you know, had bad accountability partners and great ones. Some people are best friends now. Uh, one, one team actually ended up being roommates moving to Florida together. So again, um, it's a great way. It's not a mentoring. It's more of a your mentor is not available, but now you have two or three people in your area where you live. So you guys could do like hotel inspections. You guys could do farmer's markets, swap meets, you know, the, go to events together and stuff. Again, you know, get into the incentive voucher group and use those um, vouchers. Um, so I do accountability and voucher training next Thursday if you want to join me for that. Okay. 
All right. So I will see you guys on Tuesday. Have an amazing Sunday. Enjoy your weekend. I appreciate you guys coming on board with me. I know we have a short group here, but um, hopefully you'll stick with me and we'll finish out our Kenya. Again, if you guys want to do it on your own, you can. Um, otherwise, I'll see you on the 26th to finish it out. Okay. See you. Bye. I'll have this recorded. Okay, bye. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Bye, guys. Thank you.